Well, the day began with Don McLean getting a quick bike ride in. What'd you like? 40, 50 miles before uh, ASU in Washington State today? I did, and I'm doing another 30 right now. We're actually doing this from my bike. <laughs> Cougs get a road win. They have not won here in the desert since 2009. Against Arizona State, Josh Hawkinson sets a new career high, his first 30-point effort. Surprising that he's never gotten 30 before, but nonetheless, he had to be the go-to guy when Connor Clifford went out. He had to be more inside than he's been this year, but he's capable. And there was two, three defenders around him, and he just kept working and kept getting it and kept scoring. 27 for Trey Holder, not enough for the Sun Devils. They went cold deep in the second half. Well, he's he's starting to come on, though. He had a big game the other night against Washington, 25 points, follows it up with this 27. But, yeah, you prefer it be big games that translate into wins. But I give this one, I give credit to, to Washington State. They came in here and took this game. You know, they got off to a good start, gave up the lead, but then got it back with their defense and get out transition. Arebu was spectacular here this afternoon. Had 22 points, 10 assists. So he made six field goals, assisted on 10 others, and had seven rebounds as well to close it out. More good free throw shooting for the Cougs to make sure they did get this road victory. 91-83. And look, Ernie Kent told us before the game, it's about guys six, seven, maybe eight on our bench contributing tonight. Look at those 16 bench points. Jeff Pollard showed up big with Clifford in foul trouble. So the Cougs finish the first half of the league schedule at four and five, and they will be home to face UCLA and then USC. The Sun Devils make the Oregon trip next.